Greetings, Chris here from WebRadar, and today I'm going to show you a very nice uh, way how you can create your own uh, floating cart when you're going to use Brizzy. For this, I'm using my T Shop template, and what we want to do is we want to create an icon that is floating on the website, and when you click on it, you can see your cart. Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to use the same mechanics uh, we used already for um, the back to topic, uh, back to top uh, technology. So I'm going, no, not a button. I'm going to add um, an icon. Here we go. And let's change this one to a cart. So this looks good. Now let's change some image, uh, some some colors. I want a green background, white icon, and the border to be purple. Size is a little bit too large, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And last but not least, uh, no, I'm fine there. Okay, now the hover. Uh, if I'm going to change, uh, if people are going to hover over this icon, I want to change the colors. So I want to become uh, the icon green and the background white. So that looks good. Border we keep with purple. And then we jump into the settings here. Choose position fixed. And as you can see, now I'm able to move my icon card here around. So first things first, we jump into the mobile view and see if we can find our card here. No. Then in the tablet view, there we have our card. So let's place it, for example, there. So if people scroll through, you see now this card icon will stay there. And back in the desktop view, I'm also moving my card here. Okay, so now we have to make sure that if people click on our icon, they can see their card. To do that, I'm going to jump here into the link section, choose pop up. Well, let's take this one here. I know this one is a little bit larger. Okay, this looks good. So um, we just need one part of it. No image. No icons. So now we have our empty pop-up and let's look for the page element. The pages, there we go. And here now we choose from the page cart. And well, it's uh, on the on the top of the list, so it's already selected. But as you can see, you can change the checkout account, whatever you want to show. In our case, we want to show the cart. And now that we have here the return to shop and here up there is our icon to close this one. Um, but I want to make it more visible. So I'm going to add a button here. And I'm going to call this one close pop up. And there I'm going to choose action close pop-up and in my settings up here for close um, I don't want to display this this little cross because on, on some devices it's hard to find so here we have now a nice and large close pop-up button so let's update and have a look on our website There we go. As you can see, it works just fine. So let's jump into our shop page. Look at one of our products. Add to cart. And as you can see, here we go. What we now notice that this pop-up 
is a little bit too narrow. So we have to jump back into Brizzy. And here we have to enlarge this pop up a little bit more. So as you can see, Brizzy now shows you the latest product that was placed into your cart and we see the dimensions of the cart we need as a minimum. So we can jump here into the settings and now enlarge the width of our pop-up so it fits our cart perfectly. Let's update again and let's have a look on the finished website. Perfect. So I hope this uh, little tutorial helped you to get another nice feature to your web shop. And we're going to see us again in the next tutorial. By the way, if you like our tutorials and the work we do here, a like on the video or a subscription to our channel would really help us out a lot. The channel is very new and we can use every like we have. Thank you. Bye bye.